Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we're going to do a dad's painting, but we're going to use a sponge. So this is a sponge I got from the dollar store, um, and I kind of want to see what the effects of a sponge with a dad painting would be. I think I have an idea, because obviously it, it being a sponge, it's going to absorb some of that paint. Um, so I'm wondering if I should use this side. <laughs> Um, maybe we'll do two separate videos. So maybe today I'll do the green side, the little scrubber side, and then we'll kind of, uh, we'll do that for today and then we'll kind of see how it goes afterwards. So the colors we're using are a, like a navy blue, uh, light yellow and white, only because I had them out for the last video I did. So without further ado, let's go ahead and put the paint on there and see what we can make happen here. I think that's probably good. Move on to yellow. Okay. And white. All right. And now we will scrub our problems away. Oh wow, it's like absorbing all the paint, so it's not spreading it around at all. <laughs> this is kind of an issue. Uh, let's see, do I have a spray bottle around here? Actually, I think I know where one is. Don't go away. Okay, I got a spray bottle, so maybe we can, uh... Ah! It's on the stream. It's on stream. All right, and one more. Okay. So now we got it broken up. Maybe, maybe now we can do something with it. do much <laughs> so why don't we do this we'll kind of scrub it clean almost not clean but cover the whole surface we'll even do the edges and then what we'll do is we'll we'll see what it looks like to do a scrape painting with the scrubber side of the, the sponge thing covered so let's go ahead and we'll do the edge now it's got a little 
kind of a thin, like a skim coat on the back. So now that paint's gonna move. So now we can kind of make our design. Put the white in there and now we can make our design with it. So we'll go that way to fill the edge and then we'll bring it through. So even if I lightly press it, the scrubber is not doing this piece any justice at all, actually. <laughs> it's it's like it's pulling all the paint into itself, so it's just not working. <laughs> um, so since we have it here, why don't we go ahead and try the sponge side and we'll see we'll see what happens. So we'll do that again. Do that, and we'll do that. Did not mean to put so much white over there, but it is what it is. All right, so we'll pull it that way. And the light side of the sponge, I can actually like float on top of the paint. I don't have to push it down into it. It just kind of glides across the top, really. Okay, so... I'm not even going to waste any more paint on it. This, uh, this piece is a lost cause. So, the uh, it's a no-go on the sponge, both for scraping and kind of the dab painting. Because when you dab it, it just needs these tiny little, I don't know, flame-looking things. But, it, but it's got so many dots, and it's pulling so much of the paint into itself that it just doesn't work very well. Um, so for me, it's a no-go. I've seen people actually paint with sponges. They use acrylic though, not gloss enamel. So maybe there's something to that um, that just doesn't work for the gloss enamel because it's so thin. Uh, I don't know, I couldn't say. But anyway, uh, that's it. So, you know, I just, I won't be using sponges in the future because this is a, this is a lost cause. So anyway. I'll catch you guys in another video. Take care, bye. I figure maybe I should show you what the painting looks like or, or kind of show you what, what the brush or the sponge did so you have an idea. So there's the little dots. Um, and then the rest of it. it the rest of it just kind of looks like cottage cheese, so it's really bad. Oh, but anyway, I'll, I'll catch you guys later.